our liberty, and welcome to another reason this nonsense. It's been a long time coming. We got 440, the young fucking studs, Robert Beverage, probably yeah, right. the king of the fucking death match, Eric Ryan. Two time, man. You're in a crazy mean event. You're in a tribal warfare. Talk about Circle Six in the 7020 warehouse, which is a fucking crazy ass venue. Yes, tonight I actually teamed with uh, Adam Skogar. We yeah. were down the bath. Double death. My long time, my hetero life mates, and uh, my soul partner, my tag team partner, Robert. <laughs> Always bleeding, right? Beverage. Beverage. Always Robert bleeding. Beverage, 17, man. 20, fucking home of Circle Six. Tonight was probably our best show ever. Like, man. crowd, uh, fans, like, if Rob, Rob. it, it's getting fucking there. I'm trying to fucking kill it. I'm trying to get to where this guy's fucking is, you know. It's fuck. And you, you guys were killing it, like, ARW making your name, and now it is, like, finally people come out and see you guys, and, like, you have so much fans now, and you was getting over on singles and tag. It took, uh, it took me 13 years, <laughs> him a little bit, uh, uh, 13 years, fucking up and down the roads, me and him grinding, he got out a little bit ahead of me, but, uh, feels good, man. Plug it away for 18, probably tagging for 15. Yeah, I remember off. the Nixon era, like you guys, Nixon, you talk about AIW era, and let's put over the late great Chandler Biggins. Now you have your eyes on, you gotta talk about the late great. Tell what AIW means to you and Chandler Biggins and shout out John Thorne. For me, AIW uh, obviously was home, uh, probably always home, you know, Cleveland, Ohio. AIW is like, for me, uh, like this guy. Like I said, you know, a little bit got out a little bit more. But for me, AIW was the one place that really kept me going, kept my name out there enough to where I could stay active and get those opportunities and then finally go, oh, hey, can you come into Fort Worth? Can you do this? And now the world can see you. Um, so a very special place in my heart still for AIW. Um, you know, they're still they're doing good things, big crowds, you know, all props to them. What's been some of the special matches you guys gotten to do? I know we talked about before. One of the best matches I saw, you, you and Damian Bastia, AIW, Mania Lincoln. That's probably uh, my favorite match, right? I mean, yeah. That was for me, uh, so he had already been in the Deathmatch <laughs> world, uh, tearing it up and shit. For me, that was like really like my first chance to go out there and kind of experience a little bit of Deathmatch, bleed a little bit, there's a tiny bit of glass. <laughs> and for me, a lot of people don't know, as long as I've been wrestling, the one thing I always want to do is Deathmatch wrestling. Oh, okay. Always. So 13 years in, I just didn't have the balls to go, hey, promoter, hey, this guy, can you book me? Can I come in? What do you think? I was just like, yeah, it works, it works. So I finally got the opportunity to do death matches. Fuck, I'm not going to. Yeah, it. And I'm like H2O, down. I was giving you, tell, tell us about H2O, I was giving you places too in ICW. Absolutely. And that was like, how was the death match scene? What, what's your guys' thought that I've right now? There's so many places to wrestle right now, and so many guys doing it. Uh, too many guys. Too many guys doing, doing it. Yeah. Shit guys. Too many shit guys. <laughs> oh, gonna be uh, that 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 <laughs> one. Uh, but no, I I think uh, Circle Six. One thing with these guys is the goal is to present deathmatch wrestling in the best way possible, the best production value. Eventually, people are gonna get to see all this shit that's been happening. You obviously <laughs> got to experience yeah. some of it, um, and, and just be able to present deathmatch to the masses. Because sometimes you try deathmatch wrestling and it was a little bit weak, whatever. Yeah. Someone's just gonna turn the fucking channel. But, you know, John Moxley does that, that you know, yeah. everyone tunes in. So there's an audience that's out there. Uh, we just got to do it right and do it well. It's a little bit of oversaturation. Yeah. Um, but I'm all about trying to, like, help these young guys come up and make them better and, like, build our scene, you know. I, I want to talk about the tassels and how that came. Your entrance gear is always awesome. Right, I love right. the jackets. How many jackets you got? Uh, I have two. two? I, I haven't uh, worn them in a while. <laughs> uh, the secret to the, the not wearing the tassels is I left my hat in California and I just haven't worn really <laughs> <made> one. <laughs> um, and I, I like my character. I'm trying to, like, move a little bit. Okay. Past. Past, we're going to work not, back. We're okay. a little bit more edgy. Uh, but the, so the, the big secret about the tassels is this man actually made my jacket. And okay. Like, you're going to wear this. this is just had cool. extra tassels. It was never my idea. He's jacket. like, Bev, this is you. You're going to wear it. And I rocked it and it was over. One day I fourth row, most fashionable wrestlers, you, Atticus, Eric Ryan, like always the, 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 the white gear, the yellow gear. How was it always be on point with the gear and always the colors getting fourth row? Definitely the, like the best fits, I, I think. think. Uh, <laughs> trying to be professional. Be professional. You look good, you feel good. You look, look good, good, you feel good. Take a. Uh, it's all about presenting yourself uh, the way you want and, and professionally taking yourself to the next level. Uh, you know, I don't have a fucking jeans and shirt, <laughs> but we do what we do. We, we wear what fits. We make it look good. There's a difference between a guy that wears the jeans and a shirt and a guy that's <laughs> and me. Yeah. Jeans yeah. And the street, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's just trying to present myself at a different level. Just, you know, same. And, and all 4 does that. We all have our style, our look, all similar, but a little bit different. And that's what 
I think people connect to with us as well. We're all kind of our own guy, but then we're all very yeah, still ass beaters. What are th- what's some of the best food spots in Ohio? If you're visiting Ohio, <laughs> Ohio Pico. Pico? Yep, uh, Rocky River. Surprisingly best enough, pizza. where best I'm from, <laughs> so I'm a little south of Cleveland. I'm from the Youngstown area. Okay. It's a very heavy Italian era. Uh, it's little Chicago is what they call it back in the day. All right. It's the mafia. So pizza is actually really good in Ohio and Youngstown area. Okay. Where I'm from. There's, there's tons of pizza shops in there. It's pretty fun to go. Are you guys sports fans? I'm a huge sports fan. So, what is, what I, is, know, is, I don't even watch okay, sports. He doesn't. So, so what, who sports. is your favorite Browns quarterback? Uh, Bernie Coe. Bernie Coe. I, 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 I was like, it, that was I, I wore a Bernie Coe shirt <laughs> to the show tonight. Yeah. from like 1988. Yeah, let's have a Bernie Kosar, man. You can't see Bernie on the fucking <laughs> shirt anymore. You can just barely see Browns. There's holes in it, but I'm going to rock it all the time. Man. Damn. It looks what, like a vintage metal shirt. Well, what Bernie. was the most heartbreaking year from Browns? That Browns always have good potential. What's been the most heartbreaking year? I know it's hard looking at the Browns. Browns so life. For me, um, <laughs> as much as I love Bernie Kosar, yeah. I'm talking about that, I was still very young. Yeah. Um, it was more through my dad. Okay, my yeah. Experiences. So, honestly, for me, it was uh, just a few years back. Baker Mayfield. Oh, yeah, Mayfield. The playoffs. And then uh, we had some guys get banged up, and we had a chance to beat the Chiefs going into the fucking fourth quarter. If we take care of business, we might go to the Super Bowl after the next week. I mean, they made the pass here, and I cried like a baby. I grabbed my two kids, my dog, and I just cried. And yeah. then we lost. And I don't really remember. I got really into the hammer. I was like, sounds about right. Yeah. Who's your favorite Cleveland Cardi? Uh, favorite Cleveland Guardian of all time, so there's a good story to this. Uh, Sandy Alomar Jr. Oh, okay, good From the uh, 95, like 98. My guess like was like Jim Tillman. That was my guess. Like Jim Tillman. That was my, that was my uh, guess. My grandmother's <laughs> name is Sandy. Okay. So me and my dad made huge fans, nicknamed Sandy Alomar Pond. Oh, no one funny. else has that nickname. That, that's funny. And, and, and another tidbit was my aunt is a big fan of Prince. I love Prince. Also. Okay, Prince. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> she would follow Prince around like her birthday. And she went one time to a concert and she got an autograph and she brought it home and she goes, Here, to my dad, which is her brother, and says, I got an autograph for you. It's a Cleveland Indians baseball player. He's like, Who? She goes, I don't know. Sandy <laughs> Alomar Jr. And I was like, Mom, Mom gave us an autograph. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, and, he, and he's been a coach of the team at different times for years, so a big part of the Cleveland organization. And you guys have great merch. Let's plug merch. And I don't want to keep you guys any, any longer. Plug your shit. Let's get some merch. Uh, Eric Ryan Pro on Twitter. I got my big cartel in there. I got a lot of different stuff. Uh, some gear. I got a handmade shirt signed by Matsunaga himself in uh, Mr. Danger's Steak Shop. It's a great steak in the fucking world, by the way. Uh, check out like Addy's Twitter, Bobby's Twitter. We all got big cartels and stuff going on. I know uh, Circle Six. I'm real shit with merch, so you go to Circle Six shop. They drop you new might merch. Get some of the, my merch. New shirt, new new sticker. Uh, shitty at it. Yeah, uh, Circle Six shop. If anyone sti- else wants to make fucking merch, send me in and we'll fucking split it. Go ahead, because I'm lazy I as love fuck. Stickers. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I, I, got I got a good. And you get Deathmatch Worldwide and get Eric Ryan shirts. But I got the the Eric Ryan. Deathmatch Worldwide. The violence. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So just message me. Deathmatch Worldwide. I'll be back really. Eric Ryan, Young Studs, Sean Sense, Season Six, Ask Beaters. Welcome to S420.com, please.